Thank you for joining us for another Facebook video. This is Sean McGuire at the Family Foundation. Doing things a little bit differently, we're showing photos and a time-lapse video from Wednesday's Virginia March for Life. And I'm joined by Erica Newman, who was also at the March for Life. Yeah, Wednesday was an awesome day here in uh, Richmond. We got to host our first March for Life. You might be familiar with the National March for Life that happens in Washington, D.C. every January that hosts hundreds of thousands um, of pro-life Americans. Um, and Wednesday was our first opportunity to host a Virginia version of that same event. So, Sean, can you talk a little bit about um, how we got to have one in Virginia and why now? Right. So everyone's familiar with Delegate Kathy Tran's radical abortion bill and Governor Northam's comments. Well, we've been planning this March for Life, Virginia March for Life, well before that ever came in uh, into the viewpoint. So we have actually been planning since last May, and we are just so excited to see the huge numbers of people who came out to support from across Virginia. We had 6,500 to 7,000 Virginians standing up in support of life at the Capitol. And in those 7,000 people, we had moms and dads and families. We had schools come out. Um, we had church groups and people who organized buses individually to come and participate. And it was just an exciting day um, that was encouraging to see how many people wanted to come and say that they support life um, and they see the value of life here in Virginia. Um, Sean, can you talk a little bit about uh, who was um, in our program, who spoke, and, and why it happened on a Wednesday? Right. So a lot of people did ask about why we were there on a Wednesday, but I mean, it's not the most convenient day. We were there for the veto session. This is one day after the General Assembly closes. Um, they come back and handle all of the governor's vetoes and any recommendations he makes for budget language. There's one particularly important issue for life. There is a budget amendment to protect um, unborn children with disabilities and to prevent any tax dollars from being spent to pay for abortions in those cases. Well, the governor recommended that that language be struck from the budget. And after coming out and seeing all of the thousands of Virginians standing for life, the, uh, the legislature went back in, finished their day, and they rejected the governor's recommendation and they kept that language in the in place in the budget so you can read more about that in the blog i'm going to link that in the description here in the video and we're looking forward to hosting our second march for life uh next spring again during veto session so we're looking forward to seeing um, all of you there stay tuned and watch our facebook page for more details as those uh come out but we hope uh that you will take a look at the blog linked here below to get a little bit more information on on veto session and what happened there and what we're planning for next year thanks so much for joining us have a great weekend and spread the word about virginia march for life